I'm going to show you how to configure cabinet solutions to use inset doors. Um, so right now you'll see that these doors are not inset. I'm going to go to my standards, uh, well my, my job standards, and I'm going to go to um, oh, uh, doors and drawer fronts. Then I'll start with my base doors and I will change them change the overlays to a negative number like a negative one eighth and I'm gonna take that first number highlight it and copy it doing a control C on my keyboard then I'll do a control V and overwrite all the other half inch settings except now I'm gonna do the same thing for my drawer fronts I still have it in my clipboard, so I'm just going to highlight and control V to paste and overwrite the half inch setting. And uh, you may want more than an eighth inch gap, but that's what I'm using here. Then I'll go to upper doors and do the same thing. Except. Done. Now, uh, if you, it says my standards file currently loaded is unspecified. If you wanted to, you can go to your standards and save this standard and call it inset or whatever you'd like to call it. I'm just going to apply it to the job. And now you can see that there's an eighth inch gap all the way around uh, my upper door and my base doors and drawer fronts. So that's how you do inset doors and drawer fronts in cabinet solutions. Thank you.